Hello heroes, Kelthar of the Heroes and Legends, and welcome back to RPG Corner. It's time to push forward and uh, Trails of Cold Steel. Say hello, Fee. Hello, guys. Um, we're about to go upstairs and meet with Elisa's mom, the chairman, Irina, and figure out what's going on in Ruhr. So let's do that. Executive floor. Traveling to 23F will cause the main story to advance. You will no longer be able to walk around Ruhr and the surrounding area. Be advised that any incomplete quest in Ruhr will, be ex will expire if you do so. There ain't no incomplete quest. I'm good. Travel. Travel. Of course you have. I knew it. <laughs> like the rising of the sun. I see how it is. You're taking Reinford's side again, huh? Hee <laughs> <laughs> As long as I wear this uniform, I'm simply a humble maid of the Reinford household. You, the chairman, and Master Gwim are all deeply important to me. Thanks, I think. Show us in, then. Of course. Please follow me. Sharon, you're a mysterious woman. Kind of like that. Bring them in. Bring them in. As you wish. Mother, we need to see you. Excuse us. She looks serious. She actually gonna get some guts this time. I apologize for canceling our dinner plans <coughs> last night, but it's looking unlikely. She's not even I'll working. Looked at nothing on the computer screen either. No, that's fine. We understand. It's hardly surprising given the current circumstances. I'm not sure what's keeping you so busy, considering you haven't even managed to fulfill one of your most basic duties. <clears throat> My lady, the miners who work at Saxon are employees of this company. With the provincial army barricading the mine and refusing to budge, those miners are at the mercy of the terrorists. I assume you've issued a formal objection to Marquis Rogner? Not on behalf of the company, no. It sounds like Director Heidel Rogner of the First Factory has requested something be done as a formality, but nothing more. That's it? has been dumping huge amounts of ore into the black market for years She's growing now. some balls right now. <clears throat> Don't even try and tell me you haven't noticed it. I have not noticed. Of course I've noticed. Being unable to bring the first factory in line allowed that to happen, and that's my failure, I admit. But think, if we assume the terrorists aren't acting alone here, what good would it do to issue an objection to Marquis Rogner? Well... There are many possible outcomes to this crisis, and we must be prepared for all of them. For example, we need to consider the possibility that the terrorists may set off an explosive in the mine, and how to respond to that. This is a global company. Measures will need to be put in place to protect stock prices, taking Crossbell into account, too. <clears throat> She's got a point. Anything that affects the Reinford Company is going to indirectly affect a lot of people's lives. Correct. The Reinford Group. Serious is crow's own not fun crow. Its own role to fill, and I have mine as chairman. The provincial army and the RMP are acting in accordance with their purpose, and one might even say the same of the terrorists. <sighs> oh shit. Action with a purpose. That's what keeps the world in motion. So tell me, what's your purpose? Uh, <coughs> I... Um, oh, shit. Well... Got you there, didn't you? If you get what I'm <coughs> saying, I suggest you leave. Shit. I expect the explosion at the military factory is the extent of the damage the terrorists will cause here. 
I'll give you several additional tasks. I suggest you work on those for the remainder of the day. Damn. And considering the situation here, I think it'd be best if you leave Brewer tomorrow morning. She's like, get the fuck out of my town. You have my permission as a sitting director on the Academy's board. Or else? Reen, say something. But... Oh. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh shit. I'm not going to keep making the same mistakes anymore. About <laughs> time. All my life, I turned a blind eye to what was going on right in front of me. Does her dad have red eyes? Cause your mom's got green eyes. I did it when you drove grandfather out and took his position as chairman. And I did it when father died and you let work become your life. All along, you've been working to build the company bigger and bigger, and all along, I just looked the other way. But in our field studies at Thor's, I've seen the imbalances and injustices of the world crop up over and over again. But even with that, I, and all of us, really, have to face that head on. And that's, you ask my bad. purposes. After six months at the Academy, that's my answer. <coughs> well said. Agreed. That's why this time, I don't plan on backing down. You need to hear the truth, and I need to be the one to tell you. I like how the, you know, I never really paid attention to the doll too much. I mean, it's there, but it blinks too. As your daughter, <coughs> as your family, and above all, as someone who's watched the Reinford Company grow ever since I was a little girl. Mother? You're running this company the wrong way. Oh shit. My lady. <laughs> you made your mom laugh. I you in your infinite wisdom are planning to tell me the correct way to run my company? Naturally. But I still need more experience before I can do that. I promise you though, that by the time I graduate from the academy, I'll show you how this company should be run. As someone who just might succeed you as the chairman someday, I should be able to do at least that much. Oh, she did grow some some cabezas. It's one thing to make a promise. It's quite another to live up to it. I mean, cojones. Wow, I don't know Spanish. Don't, don't judge me. Still, at least you're starting to see the bigger picture. Mother... Give it to her, Sharon. Certainly. Here, my lady. Card key. What's this? Some kind of key card? Correct. It opens the door to a passage that connects Ruhr City to the Iron Mine. Wait. There's really a secret passage? The former chairman built it for use in case of an emergency. You'll find the entrance in the underground part of a maintenance room on the upper level of the city. Hmm. If we use that passage... We should be able to completely avoid having to deal with the Provincial Army. I'm not going to say thanks. Oh, ungrateful bitch. Right now, I just believe this is the best way to press forward. The best way, And I'm huh? going to tell you why through actions, not words. Action! Excuse us, Madam Chairman. We've learned a lot during our field studies, and we'll put it all to use to come out on top. You don't need to worry about us. Kind of want uh, one of their their jackets. <laughs> <laughs> They've grown a lot in the last six months. It's <clears throat> a pleasure to watch them. Surely it wouldn't hurt to acknowledge that Lady Elisa has grown too. She's still got a ways to go. If she wants to take the mantle of the Reinford Company from me, she'll have to show me she's got what it takes. Anyway, it seems all our principal players have assembled. Can I ask you to do one more thing for me? What is she gonna do? Certainly. <coughs> Probably gonna have her watch out for the kids. Rosetta Arrow will strengthen to become Judgment Arrow. After our meeting, we contacted Angelica and Jorge and agreed to meet in front of the maintenance room that hid the entrance to the secret passage to the mine.
Who would have thought there'd be an underground passage going all the way from Ruer to the mine? All the way. He really does think of everything. Oh, you know Elisa's grandfather? I've heard you two got along famously back when he was still living in Ruer. He taught me all kinds of great stuff. How to pick up girls, the best spots in the entertainment district, <laughs> um, you know, the really important things in life. Yes, the really important things. No beating around the bush with Angie. Not that I, can't I mean, believe it, it's that she's I always can. beating around the bush. Too easily. Sorry, I'm gonna keep using that joke. It's a good joke. I can only hope to sit and learn at the feet of the master one. And then there's Crow. Still, it's probably thanks to him that Angie didn't go any further off the rails than she did. <laughs> <laughs> can't deny that. Well, that's nothing to laugh about. I wonder if we'll seem as colorful to the first years when we're second years. Nope, probably not. So, you think this is going to work? All right, that should do it. What is this thing? You shouldn't be able to see the waves. An orbital wave antenna? It's currently in development at the Institute of Technology, but I managed to convince them to let me borrow it. It emits directional orbital waves to widen the area where you can transmit and This is the thing he signals. needed to borrow. That means you'll be able to use your Arcus unit's communication functionality even down here in the mine. Well, that's that neat. sounds pretty handy. You can do that? Yep. Toe is busy gathering information on what's going on across the Empire right now. And I'll be able to pass that info along to you while overseeing this operation. But if things get too dangerous, I'll give you the order to pull out. So make sure you keep the line open. Got it. It'll be nice to have some support. Well, if George is just a call away, we've got nothing to worry about. Okay, I think it's about time we got going. And thanks again, everyone, for coming along. I've got my Arcus on me, so I should be able to hold my own in battle. Always room for one more with us. Your knowledge of the mind will really be invaluable. I'm looking forward to seeing you clean up with those Taito skills of yours. Angelica has joined the party. The maximum number of support members has temporarily increased to three. Rest it. Oh, already rested. We're right now. Just in case. Looks like Rain's not fully capped up on the CP. They call me CP Re. Okay. You know what? George got anything to say before I go? Hey! Anything here? Increase obtain exp. Nothing. Alright. Enough of the chitter chatter. Time for the pitter patter. <laughs> Now's our chance. My turn. The Should be able to just take them all out. Bang, bang, boom, boom. Yep. Okay, it's safe for now. So good. Hmm. Looks like this is just a one-way path. Yes, it is. Well, no chance of us getting lost in here, at least. Let's run on through. Run on through. Treasure. Let me open your... Yeah. Toe's been pretty worried about all of you, you know? Well... Glad to know she's looking out for us. Yeah, what a sweet girl. Yeah, though I feel a little bad since we're making more work for her. Got three rooms on this one. We've been walking for ages. How far are we at this point? Judging by the distance we've traveled, I'd say we're about halfway. How can you tell that? Chronoverto. <laughs> oh, 
wonder what it point at what point does uh because sometimes i'm way far away and she just does a melee swing and then sometimes she does the range attack can't really figure out how they like decide that this path's gotten real twisty all of a sudden hmm i wonder if they built it like that to avoid the mine shafts if that's true that must mean we're almost there <laughs> Carry a bomb. Over there. Come Looks on. Looks like we made it. Looks like we made it. Climb the ladder. Hmm, is this the end of the passage? It must be. I don't see anywhere else to go but up. Well, we walked far enough, and it seems like we've been walking in the right direction at least. So right up above us, we've got a mind full of terrorists. Let's do this. All right, let's get climbing. I'll bring up the rear. Crow, you're going first. Then Reen, Elliot, and Sam. In that order. Okay, that's fine with me, but damn. Give it up, Crow. I've known you long enough to know exactly what would happen if I let you go last. Come on again. But wait a minute. You're... Oh, wait. Angelica. Oh, it's it's so late. Don't look up our skirts. You don't have to spell it out. I guess you can always count on Crow to be Crow and Angelica to be Angelica. No kidding. Though I don't see why she'd put herself last, though. Can hazard a guess. You'd think with the situation when her mind would be fixed on other things. But it seems not. This is pure bliss. <laughs> Stop that, Angelica! Just kidding around. I love it when you're angry. I swear, this girl. All right. Once more into the breach. Chest right away. Well, what do you know? Or as soon as I enter the room, it's like, hey, we got a chest for you. We got a chest for you here. Where's the way out? Oh, there's a door over here. Do, 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 do. Save point already. Nope, not a save point. But I will save, because I made it to the mine. Save, see? Looks like that place I was before. Isn't this the sealed off mine shaft we got that sample from yesterday? So this is where the tunnel comes out. If we headed through the mine shaft, we ought to come out on the other side of the cordoned off entrance. We need to find out what's going on in there. Agreed, let's get going. Phone call. Rain here, is that you, George? Yeah, sounds like you made it through the tunnel. Reception still seems clear. Looks like I'll be able to keep you up to speed. All right, we're counting on you. Any new developments on your end? Yeah, Toa called me from the capital with some new info not too long ago. Sounds like a big chunk of the RMP is on the move, gathering in Ruhr and Ortis. Whoa. Guessing they're trying to do what they can to get the situation under control. But there's no telling how long that'll take. You're going to need to hurry. Got it. What did George tell you? Well, apparently... Reen relayed George's information about the railway military police's movements. They're headed to Ortis too? Not bad. Group B's in Ortis, aren't they? Maybe something's happening there too. It's possible, but either way, it doesn't look like we have much time. Let's get going and stay alert. Right. Let's get a going. Win Sepeth. Sepeth Mars. Get crushed. Oh, am I going to have to fight this because it's like a big creature? Nope, we're good. Can't break these. That's a bridge that it cannot break. Wait, was this chest here before? Oh, a trigger chest. Two of them. 
Don't remember these chests last time I was in here. Altair Cannon! Looks like this place is crawling with archaisms. Oh shit! <laughs> Almost ran into that and didn't need to. There's some monsters I didn't see when we were here yesterday, too. They must have brought them in from outside. I kind of want to fight the dog. I should have stopped and fought him. Get my fight on. Blow off some rust. Oh, cutscene again. Oh. Looks like we've arrived. There's no one here. And the layout looks totally different from what I remember seeing yesterday. Looks like someone's got gone to the trouble of setting up a bunch of barriers to make life difficult for us. They're not just terrorists, they're inconsiderate too. What a bang up combo. Well, at least it looks like we won't have to deal with any of those goons from the provincial army in here. Probably all posted around the entrance to stop anyone from getting in. But the real question is where the terrorists are holding their hostages. Oh, it looks like we can head that way. And that's the way we shall go. Going that way will take us into the active mine shafts, though. What better place to hide if you're a terrorist? Looks like they've got their archaisms on the prowl here, too, just like back at the factory. If we want to save the hostages, we'll have to get through them. Ready if you are, let's get moving. Let's get moving. Well, let's go to the left first, because I know we have to go to the right. But what's over here? It's got to be a chest hiding. <laughs> A big boy robot over her. There's the exit. Looks like the gate's been shut. So the provincial army and the RMP are having a shouting match out there. Let's just leave them to it. We need to head further in. Okay. Oh, robot. There's another robot. Oh yeah, monster chest. By treasure. Treasure. Hostile spotted. Jesus. Beginning combat. Okay. Uh. Scud Ripper. Here I go. Here we go. Gale. That's a good amount of people to get. Ding, dang, doom, dong, ding. It's my turn. And uh, you're just gonna attack. No. Nope. Ultimate shot. I guess you're just gonna attack. Ooh. I can do this. You have a flame burge, blessed arrow, molten rain. As far as I can go with it. Might as well. Oh no, you don't. Stop right there. Molten rain. Go. Gotcha. I'll handle it. Defense down. That's the power <laughs> of the eight leaves. That's the power of the eight leaves. Ragnavoltax. Okay, got our monster chest. Onward. <laughs> Brave heroes. <laughs> yeah, give me the sippus. Set the Sam. Oh, save point? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? 
Oh, does that mean there's a boss ahead? Well, it's not a full save point, though. It's a rest point. Should we save it? We should save it. Save the game again. Seems like it's like the final mission of the chapter, so anything could happen. I knew it! Boss time. Giant Archaisms, dead ahead. Looks like we're on the right track. True, the presence of guards means there's something here worth guarding. Guess we'll have to scrap these machines if we want to get a peek. Let's see how strong they really are. Well, shall we begin? My turn. Okay. Gale can't reach both. I'll just give him a flame impact. It's my turn. Burst drive. Can anybody get in the game? They guys need a group together. Defense down. That's well, heavenly gift. Light. You guys. Rain upon us. Sad thing about both of them is their abilities My can't turn. affect themselves. Let's give this guy a rando Got thing. It. Got it. Didn't give him anything. He resisted. Oh, they're attacking. Okay. Yeah, I've got an, uh, an, My turn. a thing that lets me interrupt those. That, she doesn't have it though. It's my turn. Trify accelerates. How about this? Now. I've got you. I can do this. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at her, she's just chaining it all up. Here we go. Just call her the chain gang. Mode Verge. Let's do this. All right, okay. I'll handle it. These archaisms, archaisms are stupid. The fact that they can't be like cyclonic laser. Right. Fifty percent chance Turns you can make them burn. That's literally all you can do to them. Burn. Go. Gotcha. I'll handle it. Should focus. Right. Can this reach both? Nope. He's defense down, so we should use it. Oh, you're ready. Ultimate shot. Holy shit, look at that sniper rifle. That's not a shotgun. There's no way. That was a beastly sniper rifle. Actually, I have to interrupt this. No spell for you. Okay. Cyclonic laser. Right. He took the burn damage. Here we go. Motivate round two. All right, let's do this. Yeah. All right. Second round okay. of motivations. Flame slash this Flame. one. Gamble on my place. Strike! Strikey! Yeah! Okay. Leave it to me! It's my turn! Fire! One down. My turn. This guy's gonna get 50% of his health back? 
Steal the heal. Ooh. I had to steal the heal from him. Selfie dance. There we go. But we can't relax yet. We cannot relax. Oh man, bad thing those. Use the ball to CP. Gonna have to Wait, work it out. Hold your applause. Okay, crow. Well, that takes care of that. It's scary how they can just appear out of nowhere like that. I was really impressed, Angelica. You sure do know how to fight. On the back line, doing nothing. No rust to shake off, is there? You're in top form today, and I'm not gonna grind up Angelica. I don't think she'll stay in the party very long. And I want to see the story. Now, if you hit me as hard as you laid into those arcasms just now, I'd be running through this mine on crutches. If you're on crutches, you won't be running. With them gone, it should be safe to see what they're hiding in there now. No one sets up defenses to guard an empty room. There's got to be something. Only one way to find out. All clear. Uh, we should probably rest. Get some of that CP, precious CP back. Bra -da 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 -da. Brown, brown. Oh, it didn't regenerate our CP. That's not a good. Got seen again. Hey, we saved the the miners. Miner Bill. Miner Plowin. You're all right. Glad to see you're all safe. Hey, ain't that Angelica? Long time no see, guys. Just give us a second to get this door open. Phew, you really pulled our asses out of the fire. Not much obliged. We could have gotten here faster if we'd used some explosives here and there. Maybe, but I'd kind of, pref kind of prefer avoiding the possibility of a cave-in. Man, you've grown into the mighty fine woman, Angelica. Real dependable looking. What a difference a few years makes. He's got a chubby for Angelica. Thanks, I wouldn't be who I am today if I hadn't shared all those days of sweat and toil with you guys. Probably shared a lot more than that. I don't know about that. I don't think I've ever seen her being this casual with anyone on campus. Well, she did work here a few years back. By the way, are you all the hostages? Was anyone else with you? Wait, where's the mine chief and the others? They took them farther in. I'm betting they're locked up in the central control room. Oh no. We're gonna have to hurry. Ah. Uh, dick. Are you alright? Yeah, dick. Don't be a dick, dick. He doesn't look alright. Put up a bit of a struggle and this is what I got for it. Don't worry about me. It's not too bad. No, you shouldn't strain yourself. What should we do? I don't like the idea of leaving an injured man down here. Agreed. Maybe we should escort them back to town before we press farther in. Don't know if we have that kind of time. Tough call. Fine, fine. How about this? Huh? You guys go ahead and leave the miners to me. What? Crow, we need you. We need your your quips and your gunplay. I'll get them back to Ruhr safely, and the rest of you can keep hot on the trail. <sighs> you want us to split up? At this point, it's the only way we can really do both things. I can get them back to where George is on my own just fine. You've got Jellica with you, too. It's not like losing one guy is going to make or break our team. Make or break our team. Even so, can't argue with him this time. Besides, it could be a lot worse. We could be losing Elisa or Fee instead. I'm not doing this to bring you one step closer to your ideal team. I do think Crow will be able to handle it on his own, though. Surprisingly easy to forget, but he is a second year. Yep, seems like the right guy for the job. Well, I guess you're right. Okay, we're counting on you then, Crow. No worries, just leave it to me. Sorry to hold you back, man. We really appreciate the escort, though. Sure thing. Gotta show these underclassmen what it's like to be a shiny beacon of selflessness, you know? Oh god, of course, he would turn it into something about him. God, I'm gonna miss you, Crow. I'll leave the ladies and gents of Class 7 in your hands, Angelica. Just get out of here already. They really should just send Angelica away, because she's not really part of Class 7. I mean, she's cute, but she's chosen. she's chosen where she stands. She stands with the ladies. She doesn't play around with the men. Just gotta get out of here already. Take good care of my friends, alright? Be careful on your way back. Sure thing, I'll join up with you again once these guys are back in town. Catch you later. Doop, 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 doop,
do 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 and there he goes this is crow we're talking about he'll be able to handle himself no need to worry you can count on him when the chips are down let's leave the miners to crow then right now we've got our own job to do roger let's go the other miners are somewhere farther in somewhere farther in oh what's trigger chest where Sit in this room? Nope. Hey. Confuse. Confuse us, say. I have no idea because he was confused. Get my wrist on. Actually, it didn't help last time. Bum, bum. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Well, why do they put... Man, they just randomly swatch or swapping my team around. I need Fee, not Sam. Alright. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a terrorist man. Oh, jeez. This is a big old area. Yeah, it's a big old area. Oh, I'm gonna fight that doggy. Oh shit! It's my turn. Right. Okay. Don't run. Let's go. Now's our chance. We can do this. I'll handle it. You're sealed. My turn. Right. Resist. Unscathed. So I gotta get my CP up, so I'm gonna be fighting my way through this mine for a little while. Du, du, du. Treasure! Hey! Found a Thalus. You know what? Kinda wanna name some of my characters in World of Warcraft after the spells in this game. I'll make a shaman, call him Athelus. Oh, what a nice looking treasure. Now's our chance. Okay. Okay. I think I wanna try something. So we're gonna move there. We're gonna see if I can get enough. Can cause he gets like That's all he's gonna hit. Three people. Get a lot of CP from his, uh. Like, yeah, see? Look at that. It's a it. net positive. 25 CP per kill. Fee, of course, needs to get hers up. Oh, shoot. You know what? I could just give her food. All right, let's get going. Hook her up with the grubs. Fuel material. Fuel material. Reinford medal. What's a Reinford medal? Let's give it to the Reinford lady. Reinford medal. Oh, strength plus seven, defense plus seven, arts plus seven, and arch defense plus seven. Replacing the auto CP up. Kind of like that auto CP up stat. Do do do. <laughs> Okay. Go. Autumn. Gale. There we go. End their lives. There we go. He's max. That's the power of the eight leaves. Yep. Eight leaves are strong as fuck. You know, I'm gonna try something. Let's see if I get CP from uh, the ladder here. Okay, hold on. It's a dead end up here, so let's go to the dead end. Huh? A dead end? Maybe not. We walked past a ladder not too long ago. Let's go back and find it. Just want the chest, guys. 
Celestial Bomb X. X gonna give it to you. Letter time. Yep, this is the one. Climbing this should take us further thought, in. Thought she was gonna say something about being in the back again. Oh shit. Somebody blew up. I heard a rumbling. Was there a cave in somewhere? Uh, nothing's gonna collapse in here, is it? Phew. Looks like it came from somewhere farther off. Hello, Reen here. Damn. <coughs> Reen, can you hear me? I've hit a little snag here. It's Crow. Crow? What happened? Well, I've managed to get the miners back all right. But as I was coming back, there was this cave in. I hate to say it, but it caught me totally off guard. Cave in how? The route we took in from the passage is totally blocked now. Did somebody blow something up? Did you blow it so up, it Crow? Was a cave -in after all. What the hell is there? Okay? Enemies? I killed You're everything. Not hurt, are you? I'm okay. No, a little dusty. It was a close one though. But I can't get to you, and you guys won't be able to come back the same way from where you are. I'm trying to find another route to get to you. Just hang tight, okay? We will. And be careful. Was that Crow? I heard you mention a cave-in. What happened? That sound we just heard was a cave-in. And it happened right along the route we took in here. Oh Crow's boy. okay, but he doesn't know if he'll be able to find another way to get to where I we need are. him for the final fight of the chapter. That's unfortunate. Not really. We'll be fine. And it means our exit point is cut off too. Looks like there's no turning back now. Of course not. Let's keep going. I'm with you all the way. We're not leaving until we find those miners. Letter time. Climb into the top of the scaffolding up in the mine. Ooh, it's a monster chest. I was about to see something. My treasure. Uh, it didn't look like it went up. Oh, maybe a little bit. Enemies ahead. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Let's take a chunk of them out. Let's get these guys on this side out. It's my turn. Actually, we'll use your heavenly gift to help the team. Rain upon us. Yeah. Spread that damage. My turn. Let's not let you do that. Oh, cancel the spell. Okay. Right. Everybody's casting spells. There's a lot of health. Right. Ooh, put me on fire. I'm on fire. All right, let's keep on moving. Okay, I'm gonna have to give Fee something. Maelstrom. A ladder over here. You know what's funny? I've been playing a lot of God of War 3. And there's a lot of places where it's like, oh, there's a bridge, but you gotta like, you know, activate a switch or hit something with your axe to knock the bridge down. That gives me a little God of War 3 uh, little vibe there. Slide down quickly. Or go down very slowly. There we go. There we Almost go. Almost there. Just a little further now. We're getting oh shit, we are getting close. We're getting closer. 
All right. On the other side of that door is the central control room. That's where the other hostages are being held. With any luck, the terrorists won't see us coming. Yep. They haven't come out to stop us. Of course, directly. they're probably waiting. I don't think they know we're here. Ensuring the safety of the hostages should be our top priority. Right. We need to be cautious now, more than ever. What do you want, Crow? You find a way in? Hello, Reen here. It's me, George. Hey, George. Is it safe to talk now? George. I just got off the line with Toa. She said she wants to talk with you directly, so I'm going to patch her call into your Arcus. The signal quality's not going to be too hot, so just put your Arcus in speaker mode and bear with me for a minute. Understood. And speaker mode on. Are you all okay? President Herschel. Yeah, we're still alive and kicking. Angie, I'm so relieved you're safe. I've been worried sick about all of you, especially when I heard Crow was caught up in that cave in. If I'd known something like this was going to happen, I would have come to Ruin myself. <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's all right. I'm glad you got in touch with us. We really appreciate everything you're doing. Anyway, it sounds like Crow's fine, so you don't have to worry about it. Really? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh right. I called you because I just turned up some new info. It sounds like His Majesty the Emperor has given the Railway Military Police official clearance to investigate the mine. Oh shit. They had to take it all the way to the top? Yep. And there's no way the Provincial Army can bluster their way past that. I bet the Railway Military Police will be busting in any moment now. Well, that's some good well news, if, the, if the provincial army is really in on this, which I think they are, they won't care what the king does, the emperor does. But even so, we need to press our advantage and keep heading deeper into the mine. This is our chance. We deeper can use the confusion the, the RMP will cause to rescue the hostages. But even if they do step in, I can see the provincial army still trying to get in their way. Yeah, so the sooner we act, the better chance we have of getting to those miners and getting them out safely. Okay. But be careful, everyone. And careful. if you feel like it's too dangerous, you get out of there quick, okay? Don't try to do anything too reckless. That goes double for you two, Reen and Angie. Me? Reckless? <laughs> Looks like she's got her number. Don't worry. I promise we'll come back in one piece. Okay, you promised. I'll be waiting for you back at the Academy. So, um, I'm gonna pass you back to George now. Well, that's about how things stand right now. Got my fingers crossed that Adios is looking after you. Good luck, guys. Roger. Just leave it to us. <laughs> I'm kind of left with the impression we just got a pep talk. Yep. Yeah. Though, we wouldn't have made it this far without Crow, George, and Toa. It all comes down to this. Let's make them proud. Right. Proud, proud, <laughs> proud. I'm ready to finish this in style. Style. <laughs> Keep it charge. Zerum powder. Hey, actually, I need those. Uh, 100 CP. 200, 200, 200. Look at that. Worked out in the end. I think everyone's at full health, but just in case. Just in case. Bling. All right, save the game. It's probably a huge fight coming up. Do I push through? Can I finish this fight in 10 minutes? Make this only an hour long episode? It might be longer, guys. You might be getting a special long episode, depending on how hard this fight's gonna be. Each each boss at the end of each chapter has been a little bit harder than the last. Who thought you kids would turn up again? It's big boy. You just don't know when to quit. There he is. V. You're V, aren't you? So he was waiting for Victor. us. Victor. So you're those terrorists, huh? Seems like you've known we were here for quite a while now. Oh, well, we weren't really counting on the Provincial Army's blockade to hold up. If the RMP manages to get through, we're ready to lay them out. In fact, I was counting on it. But me and my crew will be more than enough to bury you here. We'll see about that. Don't underestimate him. He's even stronger than he looks. We were able to beat him back at Gorelia Fortress because Instructor Nightheart was with us. But if he hadn't been there... 
Now I remember. Are you a survivor of the Arngarm Jaeger Corps? Arn Arngarmer. <laughs> Surprised you heard of it, Sylphid. Why does everybody? I mean, she's she's that famous, huh? It was huh? long gone by the time you started making a name for yourself. I heard about it from the boss. He mentioned he'd faced you guys on the battlefield a few times. Said you were worthy opponents. <laughs> I'm honored that the Jaeger King himself would tip his hat to us. It's a little late, but you've got my condolences. He was one condolences man. from a villain. Thanks. Hmm. Maybe he's what not are that you bad. Guys trying to do here? Even if you are cooperating with the noble faction, it's not like you both share the same ideals. And if anything were to happen to this mine, the whole country would be in trouble. <laughs> we know. But I'll do whatever it takes to slaughter that iron-blooded shit stain and let him twist in the wind. He really hates the Chancellor. Tell me why. <sighs> But why? He's powering up Dragon Ball Z style. Why do you hate Chancellor Osborne? So yeah, much? tell me why. Kid, I could give you my life story, but I doubt you'd understand even that. Tell me why. You have no idea how many have been driven from their homes thanks to his reforms. How many folks have lost everything they had because of him. I really need to know more about well, the Chancellor. Victims of the Chancellor's expansionist policies, huh? Well, we ain't all pressed from a mold. We got different reasons for being here. Gideon hated him for his ideology, and Scarlet. I heard she lost her old hometown when he went and built a railway through it. So that's it. So that's what drove her to terrorism. Me? Let's just say I've got a misplaced grudge against the guy. Not that I've got any intention of repenting for it now. Oh like shit. Said, we got a bad guy story. The called Arngarn. Let it actually. Just a medium-sized outfit. Nothing too grand. We took decent-sized jobs, did them well, and pulled in solid business. That was life for us. Sure, we might have gotten a little too fired up when we were facing down dangerous enemies, but it wasn't all rough going. Whenever we had a bunch of new folks join up, we'd take one easy job after another. I thought that was just going to be another one of those laid-back missions. Back when Osborne got his seat as the Chancellor, the noble faction hired us to give him a little scare. That was all. He was a commoner who came up through the military, chosen by the Emperor. I guess they just wanted to show him who was boss, but he saw right through their plan. Can't really call what happened a fight. It's more like a massacre. They didn't even give us a chance to surrender. Just gunned us all down in cold blood. Young boys who've just been with us for a couple weeks. Women. Everyone. I was all that was left. Surrounded on every side by my comrades' bodies. I was the only one to come crawling back out of that hell. I wandered a while. Didn't know what to do with myself. Eventually, I ended up finding my way to the Imperial Liberation Front. No high ideals here. And I just wanted to kill him. To gut that son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Avenge my friends. And tear apart everything he spent his life trying so hard to build. You lost your family. I see. Kind of. So that's what happened to Arngar. It's a sad story for sure. Look, I can sympathize with what you went through. But that doesn't mean the Chancellor was wrong in doing what he did. Yeah, it sounds kind of heartless to say, but... I'll say it. Terrorists need to be handled with an iron fist. Their fate should discourage others from following their lead. <laughs> you ain't strained for mercy, are you? Can't deny what you're saying, though. But this ain't about who's right and wrong. Maybe that bastard loves to fuel the flames of progress. One way or another, we've all been burned. What's left for sad sacks like us? I'll tell you what. We'll fan our own flames. Make them so big and so wild, they'll burn up even blood and iron. Jesus. Here we go. Vulcan. Now then, you came all this way. <coughs> Might as well show me what you got. Here it goes. The chapter finale fight. Just remember, you're the ones who keep jumping into the fire. 
Don't blame me when all that's left are ashes. Here he comes. Everyone, brace yourselves. We're counting on you, Angelica. Angelica. Sure, Let's do this. She's the weakest one. Probably won't be having her in the fight unless everybody dies. <laughs> Better to burn out than fade away. Okay. Go. Hmm. I kind of wish he didn't go first. Should I go with food? Strength, defense, arts, arts, defense, 25% for four turns. Quartet pudding. Give it to yourself. And then she is going to use... No, she's going to use Heavenly Gift. What? Rain upon us. Right. And then you're going to use... Adamantine Shield. Oh, he has to link? Hold on. For some reason, the links are off. Okay, Adamantine shield the group. I'll handle it. You're gonna use an. Uh, oh, you need a link too. Okay, and then you're gonna use a quartet of pudding as well. We're gonna get everybody's. Yeah. Not bad. Flame grenade. I missed. Adamant side shield up. Here we go. You're gonna use another quartet pudding. We're gonna get you that double a powered strength. Shit, this is gonna hurt. Oh wait, no, we have Adamant side shield. Couple people missed. Uh, should we refresh the? No, we don't need to refresh yet. We'll use. What's the nocturne bell do? Magic, sleep 50%, nightmare 30, steals false consciousness with silver bells. Shining darkness. Nocturne bells. Nocturne bell. Put them to sleep. There we go. Okay, and you're gonna give yourself another quartet pudding. Get your 50% attack bonus, because I think it's the cap. You're gonna use. Wait, what's this do? Uh, healing allies and CP plus 40. We don't need that one. Any good arts? Shining, and Fortuna, Arts and Art Defense. I guess we'll alter your cannon. I'm gonna see how this looks. Okay, he's got all the stuff up. Still has his shield. Now we're gonna use. Actually, you know what? We should give some. Which one gives arts up? Oh, I think quartet pudding does it as well. That oh, went too far. No, where is it? Did I run out? Oh, there it is. Stupid. Give it to Elisa, and then flame slash. Okay, I can possibly kill one of them. And then Fee can still feed dance right afterwards. Yeah! Put one on fire. And then she can. Oh, yeah! 
The setup, the knockdown. That's that. Ooh, two down. Not bad. Looks like I don't have to hold back. Bring it, Brohame. Guard. Oh, he took ten thousand damage from flame. Okay. I'm going to recast Adamantine Shield. We're gonna keep everybody. I'll tell your cannon. Not as much damage as it's gonna do. Do 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 do. It's like a spaceship. Arts down. Reshield. I'll handle it. He put to sleep. Oh, this is done. Speed down. I can do this. Let's use Heavenly Gift. Oh, actually, she what? can't use it on herself. Should know better. Rain upon us. Rain upon us. My turn. And then you're gonna use. Let's give us some defense if it ever the if all else fails. Up, A four turn defense spree. My turn. Resist. Here we go. He's resisting. Counter. Ho oh, ho. Okay. Here we go. Let's give him a flame impact. Do I still have the attack? No, just the defense. Okay. Let's see if this is enough. Flame. Oh, not enough. Just speed down. Right. Let's go hit you with a blessed arrow, guys. You guys need some more CP. Hang in there. A little CP boost. Thanks. My turn. I'll handle it. Counter critical. Burst him. Burst finish. Teamwork makes the dream work. That was beast. Yeah, you did. Beast mode. Oh, that was really good. That one. Yes, we did. Double kill, overkill, bag of trips, scouter, unscathed. Thank you, Adamantine Shield. Oh. Celestial Bomb and EP Charge 2. Uh, they're strong. Yes, they are. I believe we got pushed back by a bunch of... Stupid. You guys are just weak sauce. Uh, you can't <coughs> it harder than I expected. This fight is over. Release the miners. <laughs> that was always part of the plan. But I don't like your attitude. You don't get to call the shots here. Oh, what the fuck? What? No way. How are they still standing? That's one mean vibe I'm getting from him. Shit. Even among Jaegers, only the strongest warriors give off an aura like that. Do not despair, Kona. <gasps> is is that C? Is that Cayenne Pepper? Oh, shit. He, what? Oh, my God. Was he standing there the whole time? C! He was standing there the whole time. Okay. For those just tuning in, this is the big bad of the of the whole game, at least so far, I think. And he's never revealed himself. All is known. All the Imperial Liberation Front, they all have a letter for a name, and eventually it ties into their name. So there was G, 
who's dead. He died a long time ago, probably two chapters ago. Uh, we have V, who I just fought. That's Vulcan. There was S, that's Scarlet. She's still alive somewhere. And C, the leader. And we don't know who he is. Always wearing that mask. It has that deep voice. Kind of like Darth Vader, you know? Uh, so they've got that whole, like, thing going. But there's quite a few evil characters or characters that could be C. Um, my number one thinking train of thought is it's C is Cayenne, Lord Cayenne, the head of the of the noble group. Because they're working with the noble, so he's got to be that. The not so thinking it could possibly be Chancellor Osborn, and they don't know. Like, this is the, my wild out of their theory. Chancellor Osborn is C, and the, he's... All oh, the reason he's disguised is not even his own group knows who he is, so they, they think they're working with him. The him to kill Chancellor Osborne to get revenge on Osborne, but Osborne is using them as a means to an end, and it's just this long game he's playing. Oh, so many theories here, so many theories. Sorry. This is the guy, huh? Sorry. This is the first time I've actually seen him. Comrade S has already bought. Yeah, yes, that's Scarlet. I shall find you the time to join. Me. What? <laughs> Fine. Chalk this one up as my loss. But next time, oh, next time, we'll have some real fun. Wait, he's gonna get away? <laughs> Sorry, Comrade C. We'll wait up for you. Oh shit, are we gonna fight C now? <sighs> Last time. He doesn't let his guard down even for a second. But why the mask? Who are you, anyway? All the other ringleaders show their faces without a care in the world, but not you. Why is that? <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I'm afraid I'm the shy sort. Or are you so enamored of the mask that you intend to take it from me by force? It would be quite a coup, especially for the daughter of Marquis Robner. Jeez. Don't let your focus waver. If we want to walk away from this, we can't let up even for a moment. <laughs> I wasn't planning on letting up. There's no way you can take all of us at once. Agreed. Even Instructor Sarah couldn't pull up a feat like that. Hmm. The odds do seem stacked against me. So I hope you'll permit me to even them ever so slightly. <gasps> oh, fuck. What? No. Of course. Big ass robot dudes. Two archaisms! Are they there all along? He just summons them. Well, they must be expensive, so he must be rich. He's gotta be Cayenne. I like to call him Cayenne Pepper because he's bringing the heat. It was the height of summer. Here we go. Show me your strength, your will. Go. Okay. I have no more bravery points. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go with the item. Same tactics. Quartet puddings. Huh. Oh, that's good. I can do this. We're gonna go same tactics. Heavenly gifts. Light. She's got crit, but I don't want to use her crit because I'm saving. Because uh, she's got that double damage thing too, so we're gonna have to save it. We'll go with this. I'll it. <laughs> Let's go with the pudding. Stick to the plan. Don't be like. Uh, spoiler alert! Don't be like Star Lord and ruin the plan. See, hit yourself with some pudding. Not bad. Some pudding pudding. Oh no, you don't. Oh shit. Go. Another quartet pudding. Oh shit, he used it on her. Didn't mean to do that. Damn it. There we 
Everybody got their shield on now. Wasted a quartet putting it in mean to. Huh. Not bad. Right. Can't put robots to sleep. Why is the link down? Oh, I'm so mad right now. Who's this? Elliot? What is going on? Whose turn is it? Why can't he link with her? Is she like damaged? What's that blue thing? Oh, it's some kind of link breaker. Oh. Shit. She can't link herself. Maybe. I can do this. You know what? I think I have a craft that heals stuff. Uh, cures all bar KO. Let's see if this. Let's see if this fixes that little Ready? weird thing. Criminal edge. Miss miss guard guard. Now I think she can link. Nope. Who can... She still has that weird thing. What is her status? Oh, that's stupid that it broke the link. Can she not link with anybody? Yeah, she can't link with anybody. She's got some kind of thing on her that prevents the linking. Stupid. That is so dumb. Okay. Those dudes are casting something. Guess I should refresh the adamantine shield. Here we go. You're gonna use another potion. After the potion, we're gonna use. Silky dance. We're out of range. He's only level 61. I'm way higher than him. This should not be a hard fight. Should I just I can't hit all of them. There you go. <coughs> Oh wow, nice. He's frozen. Ancient glyph. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. <coughs> Woo. Huh. God damn. Oh, Adamant's and shield only protects against, protects against physicality. Okay. Seventh Rhapsody. A respectable lesson, but you have to do better than that. Oh, you're frozen, bro. You can't do shit. I can just hit him. Hit him with everything. Time. 
Perhaps I underestimated you. That's right. You did. Game? My turn. Hmm. Let's go for the weak one. Damn, they have a lot of defense. Cyclonic laser does nothing. I can do this. She needs some CP. Wait, I know it'd do it. Uh, Zerum powder. On yourself. My turn. You're gonna use seraphic ring. Arcus activate. Heal everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Here we go. I can do this. Oh, what happened to Fee? <gasps> She's petrified. Well, that sucks. Wave blast, guard, 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 resist. Here we go. Fence down. My turn. You need to use Listen holy to song. song okay, Fee should be able to move now. Oh, we got a confusion. I'll handle it. You better. These robots are tougher than the boss. My turn. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Okay. He's on fire. Right. Arcus activate. Ha! Give you guys some protection up in the front. Here we go. These things have so much defense. Okay. Wake up, wake up, Elisa. I can do this. Damn it. Just gonna have to move. Out of the death circle. Go. Cancel your spell. No spell for you. Counter. Critical. Okay. Right. Right. Rain upon us. Rain upon us. Finish this guy off. My turn. Let's see. Crystal Flood. Arcus activate. Counter. Yeah. My turn. Yeah, baby. Okay. Rain, do more damage. You're weak. Huh. 
Oh, there's a little bit more damage. I can do this. Impede. Turn to flames. Burn. Damn it, I got Elliot. Oh, Elliot, my boy. My turn. This thing is frozen. Switching. Sam the man in. I'll take care of this. Break shot. How about this? No. Okay. My turn. Too slow. Counter. Strength down, blind. Here we go. Right. Okay. Here we go. Lame slash. On my blade. I'll take a critical flame slash. I wish I would upgrade to a stronger version of that. It'd be nice. Yeah. Leave it to me. Can petrify. Time barrier. Break. My turn. Frozen. My turn. I'll handle it. You're never My gonna turn. get a turn. Right. Are you linked? How about Break this? shot. Bullet Cyclone. One, two. Yeah. I'm done. Done. Peace. But we can't relax yet. Yeah, that was a long episode. Well, the long fight. And it wasn't even the main dude. C was a joke. <laughs> That's about right. That's about right. Most impressive. <sighs> How do you like that? Just <coughs> paying back what we owe from the summer festival. Now hurry up and release the miners. The miners are being held in the area above us. They've been bound, but their lives are in no danger. Are you telling the truth? That does match what the other guy said. Well then, with that cleared up, let's talk about you, shall we? I hope you're not thinking you're just gonna walk out of here after everything you've done. <laughs> I'm afraid that's exactly what I'm thinking. Really now? Is that what you think? Oh! Oh, you guys just got tricked. Watch out! It's a faint! Yeah, it is. Damn it! Too late. He literally just dropped the mic on them. Ah! Oh shit! Ah! Oh, elbows. Don't freak out! It's just to disorient us. Shit! Flash grenades. Where did he go? Oh, fuck. He dropped the mic on us. We beat him and he's, he's like... Bing! Flash grenades. He could have killed us right there. The ball like that? We had him right there. Did he go to rejoin the others? <sighs> that doesn't add up. It feels like he headed downwards somehow 
But I can't even see the bottom of that shaft, so where... What is that sound? Oh, of course. That's the airship we saw at Gorelia Fortress. Looks like Reinford's high-speed RF-26 model. So the Liberation Front has expensive taste in airships. What is going on it's here? It's no courageous. Who the fuck? Of course. It's the terrorists. Take aim and fire. Yes, yes ma'am. <coughs> yep, take it down. Should have left when you had a chance. Now we got an army to fire at you. Hey, help out, dicks. You have no right to open fire here. What the fuck? Men, stop them at once. Yes, yes sir. Are you out of your damn mind? What do you think you're doing? My, my. What a pathetic spectacle. And the Chancellor has sent his loyal lapdog to bark us up a tree, too. Go on and scurry back to your master, Icy Maiden, and tell him this. Our preparations are complete. Next time we strike, he shall be the one in the crosshairs. <gasps> Man, he loves to gloat and monologue, though. He's definitely a noble. Oh, fuck! Oh! Who the fuck was that? Sarah? Huh? What was that? It couldn't be. What the hell? Oh. What the hell? What just happened? Did it self-destruct? I can't see it. They don't seem the type for wanton self-sacrifice. Did one of the RMP's bullets find its mark? I don't know what caused it, but by the looks of that explosion, I'm guessing we won't find any survivors in the wreckage. Wow. the meaning of this terrorists or not that doesn't excuse shooting down their airship without even offering a chance to surrender please calm down there's no evidence to suggest the explosion was caused by our gunfire in fact given the magnitude of the blast <coughs> I suspect that some sort of explosive was planted on the airship right now Let's prioritize rescuing the miners, then begin a full investigation into exactly what happened here. You know what I think? I think C and V and the rest of them weren't actually on the ship, and it was a ploy, and they were actually the ones who shot at the ship with the sniper rifle. Throwing everyone off thinking they're dead so they can maneuver unhindered. You have the nerve to suggest we have written permission from his majesty the emperor himself or are you telling me you intend to ignore that and hound us every step of the way oh, don't get all full of yourself just because of one little sheet of oh shit and, and who the hell are you meddling kids are you students what business do you have on restricted property whatever excuse you have better fucking hate this guy just like in uh, the first in world of the first um field study there was the provincial army officer there, and he was a dick there. It's always these officers of the provincial army that are assholes. Well, crap. We're in the hot seat now. Save us, Claire. We fucking saved the day. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh I forgot. Rogner. Listen, you're misunderstanding something. They're here because I asked them to accompany me. Angelica? And who the hell are you? <laughs> Lady Angelica? Hey, it's Lady Angelica. I heard she was back, but this isn't really the place you expect to meet a Marquis's daughter. Ha. <laughs> Long time no see, guys. Huh. I see a couple of faces I recognize under those fancy helmets. 
Maybe I should have tried the front entrance first, after all. It would have given me an easy chance to ask some of the pressing questions I've got about this whole affair. Like, you know, why you let terrorists have the run of the place <laughs> while barring entry to law enforcement officials, maybe? Uh-oh. This isn't looking good. No, you're fucked. R remain calm! We were acting under the direct orders of the Marquis himself. He expressly commanded us not to let these insolent fools trespass in his territory. Oh? Well, the Marquis must be quite the sly businessman to acquire ownership it's of the It's Mercer. Is that Oliver? What? I recognize that voice. Yeah, you should. It's Ben Mercer. It's McCree. It's fucking the GM of Critical Role. How you guys want to do this? Prince Oliver. Nice timing. Crow, George. Thank goodness you're all right. Yeah, glad to see you guys are safe too. I heard things took a wild turn. Oh fuck, it's Crow. She wasn't paying attention. I was a little just kind of dumbstruck. You can say that again. Hey, at least Crow made it back. Sure wouldn't have guessed if this out. Could have used you during the fight. Dick. Vander. So that's the last of the terrorist airships accounted for then? All that we know of, at any rate. We'll need a more detailed examination of the wreckage to say for sure. Hmm. It's truly an honor to receive a visit from you, your highness. That's enough out of you. We have more important matters to attend to right now. <laughs> First, I feel it necessary to emphasize that I personally stand behind these students' course of action. I trust you have no objections? <laughs> N none at all, your highness. Oh, your highness. We're saved. Yeah, we are. Secondly, I'll be assuming command here as a representative of the Arner family, owners of this mine. And as my first directive, I demand that the provincial army depart at once. The railway military police will remain on the scene under my command to assist with my investigation. Yes, your highness. Y yes your highness. You heard the prince. We're moving out. After all the peril, the situation was resolved with surprising speed. Hopefully you're enjoying this super long episode, guys. Fulfilled their duties under the command of Prince Oliver. It's a chapter finale, you know. They're always long. The remaining archaisms were disposed of. And the miners were rescued without significant injury. But the implications of what had just happened were profound, and the news was likely already beginning to spread. It was obvious that the provincial army had given their tacit approval to the terrorists' actions, Shit. and the terrorists had destroyed all evidence that the noble faction had been dumping iron onto the black market. But even lacking concrete evidence, their guilt seemed clear. And Prince Oliver declared he'd be conducting a thorough investigation with the full support of Chairman Irina. Afterwards. Oh shit. Are they gonna be like climbing out of the wreckage? Sharon? This must be it. Why would they leave the gun behind? No maker's trademark. No proprietary parts I could use to identify it. Not that I expected to find any. From all appearances, it seems to be a long-range anti-material sniper rifle. It's 50 cal. I see. At least it wasn't a Reinford model. And Claire. That's correct. I suspect this is yet another of that workshop's products. What workshop? 
Their handicrafts do seem to be in vogue these days, especially with the Red Constellation. Indeed, but this is no laughing matter. No, it's not. And while I have you here, Miss Kruger, I've been hoping for the opportunity to have a little chat with you for quite some time now. Exactly how much involvement does your employer have in all of this? <laughs> Might I ask to which of them you're referring? Two employers? She's playing both sides. <laughs> Let's go with both of them. My apologies. It seems we didn't clear this area as thoroughly as I thought. The freaking big ass sniper rifle on the ground. How could you miss it? Oh shit. That's what they were talking about. <coughs> swoosh. What the fuck is swoosh? No. Did she literally say swoosh and it you died? Have such splendid form, Lady Claire. What the fuck? It's an honor to see the famous icy maiden in action. Swoosh. You're quite the sight yourself. She swooshed it to death. She Nike'd it. She hit him. I see she was like, just do it. The severing, chain. the severing. What the fuck is the severing chains? Oh my god. <laughs> it's getting deep. It was nothing. I need to know who Sharon is. But to answer your earlier question, Chairman Arena has no involvement whatsoever. That said, I'm certain she'll leverage the current goings on to her advantage as much as she's able. I'd expect no less. As for the other, I expect they're simply playing around. What the fuck? Who? Who's the other? At least for now. Shit. Wow. Keep up the good work. the best yeah strength and bonds max level level four what the shit okay so oh too many saves saving multiple times so that's definitely the end of this episode i don't think i can stop i need to know what happens in chapter seven at least the start of it. It's late and I want to keep playing. But for now, this episode is over. I have so many more questions now. Did Cayenne Pepper live? Did Vulcan live? Who the fuck is Sharon? And why can she Nike swoosh people to death? Who shot the sniper rifle? Was it C as a ploy or... Are they actually dead? Yeah, holy shit. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm Keltar of the Heroes and Legends. You can follow up with the channel by subscribing. Uh, hit the subscribe button. And when you subscribe, make sure to hit the little bell. And the bell will give you the option of you know, getting notified with every episode or just some. Um, if you get notified of every episode, you can stay up to date on the RPG Corner and other things on the channel like this video so it gets a little bit more push and more people can see it and then leave a comment tell me who if you think i'm wrong if you actually know who these people are or the answers if you've played through this don't spoil it but if you have your own theory and you haven't played or you've just been watching along and you have a theory maybe something i didn't catch then go ahead drop it down there Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.